So all this here has got to fit into this backpack right here. For the best advice about moving to Mexico, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode every Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex and I moved to Mexico from the US in 2017. I've called Querétaro home ever since. If you've been around here for a while, then you know that the majority, well basically all of the videos on my channel have a Mexico focus. Things are about to change though. Don't freak out, not like a big huge change. I'm not leaving Mexico forever or anything like that. But tomorrow, Thursday, September, let me check the date, September 9th. Thursday, September 9th, 2021, I am leaving for a trip to, drum roll please, Europe. Before I dive into my travel plans, spill all that good tea on where I'm going, who I'm going with, what I'm gonna be doing, I want to just quickly give you an idea of what you can expect on my channel over the next couple of months. So I've got some videos pre-recorded from the last couple weeks here in Mexico. I've got a really cool vlog about my weekend in Michoacan. I've got some stuff about learning Spanish, some stuff about temporary residency. So even if you're not necessarily interested in the year of content, interested in the Germany vlogs, then make sure you're still checking in here every week because I do have stuff coming for you about Mexico. I started my channel here about Querétaro, about Mexico, about moving to Mexico during quarantine back in June 2020. Do you even remember way back when? But I absolutely love traveling. That is a huge part of my identity, a huge part of the person that I am, and a huge part of my story as a content creator. So way back in 2014, just a few days after graduating from college, Taylor and I left on a trip to Europe. We backpacked around Europe for five weeks. Oh my gosh, we went absolutely, we went so many places. It was just this whirlwind trip full of memories, something that we still talk about to this day. And I know that this might sound a little cheesy. I feel like I've been getting kind of cheesy on the channel a lot lately. Might sound a bit cheesy, but that trip really changed the trajectory of my entire life. That is why I ultimately ended up finding an au pair job in Spain. That led me to teaching English in Madrid for two years. Madrid led me to Mexico. And long story short, here we are today. So if you've ever wondered about the, the name of my channel, the name of my blog, Backpacking Brunette, that's where it all comes from, that first trip. To me, backpacking really is the ultimate way to travel. And I really think of it as like a reset. I've been preparing the last few days for my trip, you know, getting everything ready, getting everything together. I'm bringing a 30 liter backpack, the smallest backpack that I have ever backpacked with. But honestly, I love traveling light. It's like I said, just a, a reset. You know, what do you really need in life? In addition to traveling light, I absolutely love staying in hostels. It is the best way to meet and connect with other travelers. I've had so many great nights, so many awesome conversations with people, met so many interesting individuals, people that are just curious. Curiosity is something I really, really value in friends, acquaintances, other human beings in general. And I just know that this trip is just going to be such a rejuvenating experience. It's been something I've really been looking forward to as, especially as a creator, as someone who makes videos, share the, shares their life. I just can't wait to, to feel that energy. 
If you're excited, if you're on board with the new content, remember, it's not gonna be all Europe all the time for the next couple of months, but I'm planning on mixing it up probably every other week. Mexico video, Europe video, back and forth, back and forth, for probably the next two months, I'm thinking. So if you're on board with that, if you're excited to kind of see the little shake up here on the channel, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up because I, I wanna know. Alex, where are you going? Now on Thursday, September 9th, I will be taking the bus from Querétaro to Mexico City. I've got a flight from Mexico City to Atlanta, just a little layover there, and then on to Frankfurt, Germany. Once I get to Frankfurt, hopefully I won't be too tired. This is a crazy travel day, but once I get to Frankfurt, I'm gonna take the train down to Munich. So I'm gonna be spending my first weekend in Germany in Munich. Then on Monday, I think I'm gonna be taking an overnight train maybe, not really sure how yet. I'm trying to keep these travel plans pretty flexible, pretty loose, because that's what backpacking is all about. I will be getting up somehow, some way to Berlin, one of my absolute favorite cities in the world. And I will be spending the week there, kind of doing some work, doing the digital nomad thing, working in cafes, maybe check out some co-working spaces. But that is my plan for my first full week is to be in Berlin. Really keeping these plans pretty flexible, pretty loose, and also with you know different restrictions coming in from the EU, not really sure if I'll be able to leave Germany to go anywhere once I'm there. Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Gonna miss that about you, Mexico. Who are you going with? My first weekend in Munich, I will be with one of my very, very, very good friends from my hometown. We've been friends since I sat behind him in algebra in eighth grade. But I will be with him for the first weekend. And then once I go to Berlin, I will be on my own for the, the about four days. Thursday, my that first week in Berlin, I'm going to be meeting up with one of my dear, dear friends. Lauren is coming to Berlin. I'm super, super excited because we're gonna spend a few days there together. And then we will be making our way down, down the country, down to Munich, over to Frankfurt. We're gonna be together for 10 days, kind of doing a girls trip backpacking thing. I will be meeting up with two of my very good friends, two crazy awesome German Vanessa and Daniel that I met when I did the Camino Portugues a couple of years ago. One of the reasons I am so excited about this trip is because it's a really fun mix of seeing old friends, you know, and also getting that time to myself and of course meeting new people. I'm gonna be staying in hostels, gonna be doing the walking tours, the pub crawls, all that stuff, just doing the thing and there are always so many opportunities to meet people when you are traveling, especially when you're traveling solo. I actually think it's easier to meet people when you're traveling solo. And when you're solo, it's, it's actually hard to be completely solo. You really need to make an effort to do so. People always wanna chat, people are really friendly, and, and if you don't wanna be alone when you're traveling, then you're not gonna be alone. Are you vaccinated? Yes, I am vaccinated, got two doses of Pfizer. My second one was back in June and now, so I'm good to go. Got the, the little card to, well, big card, awkwardly sized card to travel with. I also had to get a negative COVID test in order to fly to Atlanta. My flight to Frankfurt leaves from Atlanta. So had to do that as well. So I'm vaxxed, I'm negative, I am good to go. Isn't Taylor going to miss you? I have actually been kind of emotional about leaving for the trip. Yeah, this morning I cried. Queretaro has never felt more like home for me than it has in the past few months. So definitely it, it is emotional leaving and knowing that I'm not gonna be back here until November. 
after my month or so in Europe, I'm going to be flying back to Michigan to spend some time with my mom and then I will be coming back to Mexico. But I know I'm definitely going to miss Taylor. Let's see if he's going to miss me. Hey. Hey. What's up? Are you gonna miss me when I go to Europe? So much, you have no idea. This is what it would be like if we had a couples channel. <laughs> I was just going on and on and on about how much I am going to miss you. Until then I cried. It's true, didn't I cry? It's true. Like a little bit, like not a lot. It wasn't Very sobbing. little, very little, don't feel too bad. But I'm a Capricorn and we never cry. So you are going to miss me, yes? It's true. But you don't have to miss me for too long. Well, I think it's too long. At the end of September, Taylor is going to... I'm, I'm going to Germany too. <laughs> when I started talking about the trip back in May, June, whatever, Taylor didn't think that he would be able to get the time away from work. He's a busy, busy dude, but you did. You got the time away from work. Made it happen just for a little bit, but it'll be fun. I'm excited. I am really bad about calling, texting, and stuff like that, especially with the time difference. So I promised Taylor that I'm going to FaceTime him every single day that I'm in Europe. Do we believe her? Do you think I'll do it? Do you think, do you think I'll FaceTime every single day? Do you think I can keep up with it? I think she'll be, I think you'll be close. I believe in you. I have to. You've heard my trip details, at least what I know of them. You've heard from Taylor. You've seen my backpack. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go to Europe. Let's go to Germany. Oh, I'm so excited. If you want to follow my travels in real time, then be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Alex, not Emily. I'm going to be posting some mini vlogs on reels. I'm going to be talking about different costs of accommodation, food, and just in general show you what I am up to over there. So if you liked this video, if you're excited for what is coming up, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. I'm Alex from BackpackingBrunette.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>